Hi everyone and welcome back to another session of this beautiful um, birthday card that we've been working on the last couple of weeks. Um, today we are going to be doing a bit of the blue and the, I would say, mint green colour there, which consists of part of the balloon, part of the bunting. Uh, we haven't got a green balloon for some reason, but we will be doing the K, which is the bunting there. So I think I'd like to start with the lowest colour first. Um, it is a really, really gorgeous day today. Um, really, really lovely, sunny, warm temperatures. It was starting to get the um, hot, wet, hot weather back now, which is great. Um, and I've been debating whether to get the fans out because I have a desk fan um, that I normally sit next to the kettle when I'm diamond painting because I like to, if I'm diamond painting, I like to have a bit of cool circulation as we're going round. Um, and yeah, it's been a really, really lovely day today. It's uh, just had my lunch, which consisted of a corned beef sandwich, well actually four corned beef sandwiches, with four tomatoes, like a tomato but cut into four quarters. Then I had a packet of crisps. I totally forgot to get the lettuce, cucumber and tomato, uh, sorry, lettuce and cucumber. Uh, all the peppers. And I ventured up to Tesco to get that. And I thought, oh, I'll get some pink panther biscuits because uh, I love them pink wafers. But as per usual with Tesco, they don't have any, which is surprise, surprise. And 10 times out of 10, Every time I go up there, there's always something that they haven't got. So I thought, well, I'm not going to bother them because I know I've got biscuits at home. So I thought I won't bother getting them. Um, and then I had, I got these, I was picking up a parcel the other day. And next to the locker is the co-op. And I picked up what were called millionaire shortbread biscuits. But they were like a little cake thing, but shortbread and with like a caramel layer and then chocolate on the top. Really nice, actually. Um, fortunately, I don't have the packet because I had the last one today, so I can't show you. But yeah, just like really lovely texture and yeah, pretty good. Um, that was the same day I found them, Jammy Dodger Maryland cookies. They were really lovely, like a raspberry colour. So as you can see, we're going in like a pattern here of pink and then the balloon. I think this colour is gorgeous. It's like an African daisy colour. My bedroom is very similar to that sort of colour. Um, when I was a boy, um, years ago, I always used to have this colour. And ever since I've had this wall colour, I've always stuck with the same sort of colour. I can't imagine my wall, uh, my bedroom wall being any other colour. Um, when I, It was funny actually, because when I moved in this uh, house, I don't know what was going through the previous tenant's mind, but they had a red kitchen with a yellow bedroom. I can't recall what the bathroom had. And the front room was horrible. It's, it was like a mango sort of colour, but really dark sort of, like had a very dark sort of orangey, yellowy colour. Um, it was awful. And I thought, I, I, I need to change this because with paints, the darker the colour, if you put like, say, I don't know, a red colour on your living room, a red paint, it will make the room look smaller um, if it's a dark red. If it's a lighter colour, I like my creams and my beiges, so my front room's in a cream colour. And if you do a brighter colour, apparently it, it makes the room look bigger, so... Yeah, and I thought, oh, I've got to change this. So I had a bash at doing it. Can't paint very well, I'll be honest on that one. Um, on my craft channel, I do have some uh, gnomes that I've painted and stuff, but it's really just to try and develop my skills a bit more. And uh, I got my brother to paint all over here for me. So uh, back in the day, we used to get, when I used to be part of, a different housing association that was a two-year contract and we would get like at the end of the year the council would give you like a paint voucher and you could order your paints but that hasn't happened oh gosh i've done it again oh that's really annoying every bloody time 
Seriously, why is it? Oh, I'm just gonna leave it because it will aggravate me otherwise. I'm so careful and then all of a sudden I just accidentally knock it, it's really frustrating. But yeah, so, yeah, that hasn't happened for a while. And then obviously yesterday I was watching Britain's Got Talent. Sundays there's not really an awful lot on because I don't work Sundays, so I take Sundays off. And yeah, not really an awful lot on. But what it's, it's nice because obviously you've got, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here from Monday to Friday. And then obviously they're starting the vote offs now, which is, it doesn't even feel like it's been on a week. Um, let alone two weeks, but it just, you know, now we were coming into May, it's, it's, nearly enough, once it gets, I reckon June or July, we'll be halfway through the year, um, so, I just wish there was a way to slow time down, but unfortunately, we don't have the power to do that. <laughs> I like the contour of this, they've bent the balloon piping round the back of this one, because that one's a much more bigger contour curve. That's pretty neat. Very cleverly done, that. So, last night I was talking out the video because I am aware I forgot to do an unboxing because I saw the video there and I thought, oh my God, I must have forgot to upload it. So, got it all ready and then I got in my bed about, it was like midnight and Normally, if I've been out all day, and provided I'm not working the next day, I will stay up till like two, three o'clock just to try and get some stuff done that I've missed doing throughout the day because I've been out and stuff. And um, yeah, so I got that already, went to pull it up, because I can't, for some reason it won't schedule after midnight. I think you have to wait. I think the latest one is 11 o'clock, you can schedule. Uh, I forgot to press active, so what will happen is that will now take the place of Hobie the line on the Sunday, which is the 20... I'm filming this on Sunday, so the 30th of April. So yeah, um, and totally forgot to load it, but yeah, I must have forgot to put it on... I must have forgot to put it up to unbox, because... Uh, it was booked in the diary, because my diary tells me what's going up on each day. Um, I think, obviously, if you're doing scheduled filming, which is where you film in advance, your best friend is a diary, because, obviously, it allows you to keep track of what's going up on what day, rather than trying to memorise it. I tried to, years ago, I tried to memorise how to do it, but I just find it much easier with a diary. You can work out what you want to put up each day, and it just does the job. Very good. So what's lovely, oh, what's lovely about this one is we're just gonna do some candle effect here. And this is with the same sort of color, so it's with a H as well. So it's really good. It's a slightly lighter drill compared to what the print is, but it is the right color. Um, I'm aware that we've got to go fishing for that J color, which I'll sort out at a later date. Um, so yeah. But yeah, um, I've had a notification from Timu that my package has arrived at the airport. I mean, obviously you're gonna see that well before this video because obviously um, I do quite a lot in advance. So I know some people have uh, left comments and said, um, was this the other day? Because uh, <laughs> they get confused with my schedule, like my pre-records. If I'm doing a pre-record, the chances are it's been filmed in several weeks in advance. You know, it's like EastEnders. What you're seeing on EastEnders, say, tonight, um, obviously tonight is not Monday, but say Monday, for example, that would have been shot, what, six months ago? Or six weeks ago? So lots of production companies and TV programmes will always get filmed in advance. So, yeah. I'm aware with that balloon, I've not forgot that one. I'm gonna do that in a bit, but I think tonight I'm gonna to whack a movie on at five o'clock. I've got Licorice or Shorts. I blame Diamond Paintings with TM for that one because she got me onto Licorice or Shorts. <laughs> but I got this whacking great big bag and 
they're two pounds, but Amazon do this thing called subscribe and save. So what it means is you can subscribe to it and you can set either a, a week, two weeks, three months, four months, whatever time you like. Um, and they will automatically take payment and, you know, send it out to you based on what um, you select, whether it's two weeks. And I thought, well, I'll do mine every two weeks, but they were really, really nice. Um, I know my dad likes licorice or shorts, but I'm not really in love with licorice. But because I know there's coconut and other bits, I don't like it on its own. But if it's got stuff around the licorice, like coconut or something, then I will. And then I was like thinking to myself when I was eating them, I wonder if anyone's actually made the little licorice man that's on the card. Because there's a little licorice um, sweet man and you can build him up with the different sweets. So I thought maybe I could try that. And I don't know if it's a new street, uh, a new sweet in there, but I did find a little jelly um, licorice sweet in there. But it was like a little jelly man thing. And I thought, oh, the, oh hang on, we're doing the wrong colour here. And I thought, hang on, that must be, that's got to be new. I've never seen that before. But in licorice, I do love, I mean, pencils are licorice. But I do love, you know, the pencil sweets with the white, I think it's like fondant or some chewy thing down it. Um, but what I do love in licorice is the coconut ones and the ones that have got looks like a pomegranate, the little, um, or aniseed, um, you know, the little bobbly ones with the bits on, they're really nice. Um, and I like the ones that have got the white top and then you've got like a bit of the licorice then a bit of the white then a bit of the licorice and they're quite nice as well. So they're really lovely to have. But yeah, so I really would like to get this card done. So as I said, this is the last card being done on stages. What I mean by that is I'm going to be doing a new thing on Tuesdays where we just get the card done from A to B, job done, because I'd rather... Or what I might do, I might space it over a weekend. So like we start on the Friday and finish it. No, we start on the Saturday and finish it on the Sunday, maybe. I don't know. Because I, I just feel like... This project is such a short one and I did enjoy doing the Tuesdays lives with, you know, from A to B. But the problem we had was it was taking far too much of the stream up and we could only do like two or three streams before it used it all up. Um, obviously, never say never with StreamYard. So I might invest in the £14.99 package, which is a limited streaming. But I, I do feel like it's an expense I don't really need to be paying out for. Um... So maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. We've got a few jewels that are not supposed to be there. So let me just get that out. And yeah. It'd be nice if they could do a string where it's like all different, like, you know, bibbly bop, uh, bibbly, I can't get it out. You know, the strings drilled, if you get me, that'd be quite good. But yeah, so I'm not, I'm not sure what film I'm going to be watching, but I was watching Games of Thrones, but I'm thinking like Disney Plus tonight, maybe. Because Sundays are the only sort of day I get a rest break, and then come Monday I'm back to work again, and it's like, oh. you know when you wake up and you just don't want to go? Just pretend you're sick. Go in, call up and be sick. <laughs> But some managers still make you go in, like, and I think that's wrong because obviously if you're ill, they're not allowed to force you to go in if you're ill. So, yeah. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can today. Normally as well on a Sunday is I'll get everything recorded for the next week so that I don't have to um, rush about during the week to get it done. Some days I've gone out all day and I've totally forgot to go on live and I've, I've got like an hour before it starts and I have to come in and dive straight into that. It's just too much. So yeah, I don't have any plans to go live on this channel and, and until Fridays, obviously with the Rainbow Rose, and then Tuesdays will be, you know, A to B's on cards, but I need to have enough cards in for that to happen. So... I need to do a bit of um, uh, I need to do a bit of cards you know like I do unboxings of canvases I would love to do some with cards and that so 
that would be quite good. Okay, so that's that one. I think what I'd like to do is I just want to try and see if we can get that E colour done as well while we're here. Um, it won't take too long, but I'd like to see if I can... Um, so I was just chucking that tray away because uh, it, it's, it's a broken tray from my rock collection, but I just pinched it to do that and I've just realised I've chucked it away when I need it, but it doesn't matter because I can pinch that one because we're finished with that one now. So I'm not going to kick this colour up because I know what it is. So, so this E colour is basically a bit of the bunting as well. So. So yeah, I'll tackle them spare ones later. But this is the E colour here. So just pull these out. Really want to get this finished today, so and then I can mark it off on that um, Gems Flow app to say that that's done. I keep forgetting about that. Although it's on my phone, I just keep forgetting to put new ones on there. I'll have to have a look and see which ones are what. <laughs> I just forget. If you guys can see that, I do apologise, my wire's playing up there. Do you know what, my phone's playing up as well, because with my phone, it's got a, there's a problem with the battery, so I just keep that one for like filming now, because um, I wouldn't be able to go out for the day with it, because the battery's knackered, so, but I put it on charge, and then I went to go and film this, and it was saying that it's not, it was saying that it's um, out of battery, and I'm like, I've just charged that for an hour. So whether the plug was not correctly plugged in the wall or the cable accidentally come out, I don't know, because sometimes the cable will come out slightly even though it's plugged in. Right, we've got a bit of a stick issue here. Um, like, what I'll do is I'll have to figure that out later, but we might have to put some super glue on that. Normally Craft Buddy are pretty good with their stick, but for some reason we're having a bit of uh, difficulty down here, but I'll try and sort that out. If need be, I'll have to pop a little bit of glue on it. I have got super glue, but I don't like using this type of glue because this glue really sticks to you. Um, liquid, I like the brush on glue, and I have ordered some with Amazon, a whopping £6.59. Can you believe it? Ridiculous. I've just seen a C colour there. I'll have to see if I can patch that up. See, this is what, again, L, how have I missed all that? This is why you have to seal them because they fall off so easily. I mean, the stick's okay, as you can see, but it's always best to seal it. But I really have enjoyed this uh, working on this card it's been really lovely indeed so really really enjoyed working on it but the Royal Mau I think they've um, they're back to normal now because I have noticed Mau is coming more frequently now and on time so yeah so that's good that it's all resolved so hopefully no more bloody delays <laughs> Because when I'm shopping, I'll always shop and pay for track delivery. I like to pinpoint it. And it does me a favour because obviously if I'm out for the day, I know that perhaps I need to reschedule my diary around that. Or if I'm out for the day, I just send it to my relatives. So, especially if I'm working as well, because obviously my postman likes to dump it on the doorstep. Um, I mean, Tony does that, my mum's one. But he... He does it because we've instructed him to do that because we know that there's always someone there, you see, um, to get it in. So, because of Molly and that. But yeah. This, I really, I really am very tempted to get another one of these because I've got a few friends that I could send this to for their birthdays. I really have enjoyed working on this one. It's been a real joy to do. But yeah. So, 
So yeah, as much as I want to, I'm just going to do a couple more things here. I want to... Okay, what I want to do is just see if I can patch up with Mr. Bit of the Candle off. I've got a few here, so I can do that. Um, that's no problem. How we missed that, I'm not entirely sure. I thought we'd done that. It's probably because they were Dan here. I probably missed that by um, Aaron that, but I can do that one easy. That's not going to take too much time. But if I really wanted to, I'd finish it all now. But I want. I love dragging them out. So. But yes, it's a busy old week next week because obviously we've got the King's coronation. But it's actually, they've been saying that the concert's in Windsor. So from my understanding, it goes in a different coach down to Westminster. They do the ceremony and thing, um, crown him, and then it comes back in that um, gold coach that everyone's been talking about. That is apparently it's 200 years old, but it's extremely uncomfortable. So... Uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. But yeah, okay. So that's that, guys. Um, just want to quickly see if I can... I think... What I need to do is just grab a colour. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to test if that's... I've got a J here, but I want to see if that's... Yeah, that's that colour, okay. So we can quickly do the candle, which is that one there. Right. So I'm just going to get the candle there. Because they're filling the drawer, I need to match it with the drill down there. But if we can just get them done as well, that would be a bit more done. Um, so, yeah. I don't know how I missed them, actually. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, lovely. It's very groovy, very colourful candles. I love candles. Um, my my relatives normally have Yankee candles. Normally, if it's just my mum and sister that night, um, they'll sit in the front room with a candle and watch the f the films. They're normally Yankee candles are normally I think they're like five pound or so. Um, I know someone with that does ASMR with candles and. Uh, Really, really good. Um, and he does a lot of shopping hauls as well with candles. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. But that's that one done. Doesn't that look pretty? This has got to be one of my most favourite cards I've worked on. I've really had a blast with this. But, yeah. So, that's that. Um, I think we've got a bit of touching up with the B in that. And then we've got to try and figure out what we're going to do down here. Because the stick is not sticking, as you can see. It's a... If I pick this up again, it just will not stick. That one does it. I don't know if you've noticed, but you always find in a painting that there's one that don't stick. However, I've just pushed that down a lot more and it's gone on. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay, so what we'll do then is the last session will be doing the purple and then we're just gonna go back over because we've got a C to do and a couple of Bs and that's finito. So there will be one more session, which will be, the, as I said, the last session, but it's also uh, quite a unique episode because obviously it's the last session of when we're gonna be doing the cards in stages. So please remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember to tap the bell if you want to be notified of all the videos I do. And I will see you next time for the last in the series of this brilliant painting card that I've been working on. I've really, really had a blast working on this and I cannot wait to, um, I'm just putting the, uh, the jewels in the pot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't wait to get, see what the next one is. I don't really like the idea of that. They should have put jewels on the edge of here. Um, I mean, you can if you want, just get a bit super glue and put them on, but this has been such a beautiful card to do. Um, that's we need to get sealer because that's going to cause a havoc. But as you can see, it's being a pain and won't stick. So yeah. But anyway, I would suggest now getting rid of that because you can put it over, but it's not going to stick as you can see because it's got jewels on it. But anyway, 
I've really enjoyed that. We'll see you next week just to finish off some more of the bunting. We've got more one colour there. Please remember to like, share, subscribe if you want to get this for yourself. Craft Buddy R with The Works, Amazon and also on their website. I've not seen this one in The Works or with Amazon, but the link's in the description of the video. Tap the bell to be notified of them furthermore. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free of charge and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.